Good morning, viewers. Welcome to the session versions for this morning. By the grace of God, we're looking at the topic obedience of faith. Topic one more time obedience of faith under the series How to Access Showers of Grace. Host Maham Risa Luke Kefas, text taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 6, from verse 5 down to 22. But let's pray before we begin. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the bread in our nostrils. We count your great privilege to be alive this morning. We come to hear your word. Father, we ask speak to us and grant us understanding. You said in Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27, you send your word and your word healed them. Lord, send your word into our heart that will heal us from all spiritual ignorance. You said in 2 Peter 1, 3, I call your divine power. You've given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of your word. Grant us access to the knowledge of your word today. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Topic one more time. Obedience of faith. Under the series, How to Access Showers of Grace. Host Muhammad Sahab, look at Kefas, text taken from the book of Genesis chapter 6 from verse 5 to 22. I read from verse 5. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that the imagination of his thought, of the thought of his heart, was only evil continually. Verse 6. And he repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and that he grieved him at his heart. Verse 8. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Verse 14. And the Lord told him, in verse 14, Make thee an ark of gover wood. Rooms shalt thou make in the ark, and shall pitch it within and without the pitch. Verse 17 said, And behold, I, even I, do bring a flood of water upon the earth, and to destroy all flesh, wherein is the breath of life from under heaven, and everything that is in the earth shall die. Verse 18, But with thee will I establish my covenant. Down to verse 22, Thus did Noah according to all that the Lord commanded him, so did he. May the Lord bless his word and grant us understanding as we continue this morning in Jesus' name. For that reading, Genesis chapter 12 from verse 1 to 4. Now the Lord hath said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto the land that I will show thee. Verse 2. And I will make thee a great nation, and I will bless thee and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And in verse 3. And I will bless them that bless thee and curse them that curse thee, and in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. So Abraham departed in verse 4 as the Lord has spoken unto him, and Lord which went Lord which uh, went with Abraham and Abraham was seventy five years old when he departed of Aram. Next chapter, chapter thirteen from verse one down to six. And Abraham went out of Egypt, he and his wife and all that he had and Lord with him into the south. Verse two and Abraham was very rich in cattle in silver and in gold. Very rich in cattle in silver and in gold. Why? Because he obeyed the Lord in the previous chapter. Verse 5, And Lord also joined with Abraham, had flocks and herds and tent, and the land was not able to bear them, that they might dwell together. For their substance was great, that they could not dwell together. And we saw that they had to part ways. I pray as you obey God in faith, the Lord will daze you with his blessings in Jesus' name. Uh, Genesis 26, from verse 1 to 14, And there was famine in the land, beside the famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went out unto Abimelech, king of the Philistines, unto Gerar, and in verse 2, And the Lord appeared unto him and said, Go not down into Egypt, dwell in the land which I shall tell thee of. Sojourn in this land, and I will make, and I will be with thee, and I will bless thee. For unto thee, unto thy seed, I will give all these countries, and I will perform the oath which I swear unto Abraham thy father. And in verse 4, And I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of heaven, and I will give unto thy seed all these countries, and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth. Be blessed, verse 5, because that Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge, my commandment, my status, and my laws. And Isaac dwelt in Gerah, in verse 6, and Isaac dwelt in Gerah, verse 12. Then Isaac saw in the land and the city of Simeon, a hundred foot, and the Lord blessed him. And a man waxed great and went forward, and grew and he became very great, for he had possession of flocks, possession of herd, and rest of Saba and the Philistines. And the Lord bless his word, and his understanding in Jesus' name for the reading. Uh, for the reading, you can read Genesis chapter 12 from verse 1 to 4, Genesis 13, 1 to 6, Genesis 26, 1 to 14. One more time, topic this morning, obedience of faith under the series, How to Access Showers of Grace. Host, my humble servant, Luke Kephas, takes it again from the book of Genesis chapter 6 from verse 5 to 22. We've read that before the reading. Uh, Genesis 12, 1 to 4, Genesis 13, 1 to 6, Genesis 26, 1 to 14. Please, at your leisure time, I want to beg you to read these scriptures again, and I'm sure you're going to be blessed. I shall read them in Jesus' name. Thinking cap, a mind blower for this morning is, Divine grace is always at the corner 
of uh, faith obedience. I take that again. Divine grace is always at the corner of a faith obedience. Divine grace is always at the corner of a faith obedience. Think about this. Today we'll look at the topic, Obedience of Faith, on our teaching series on how to access showers of grace. By introduction, let's understand that the obedience of faith will always take a man from the ground to the top. Great grace testimonies will always be at the brink of true obedience. I take that again. Great grace testimonies will always be at the brink of true obedience. No one obeys God in truth and not see the hand of God at work. No one obeys God in truth and not see the hand of God at work. Though God is everywhere, but God does not manifest or reveal himself everywhere. I mean, God always manifests and reveals himself at the action of faith obedience. Noah, Lot, and Joshua, and Judah, among others, never saw the hand of God till they acted in faith and by faith. I pray as you act in faith and by faith. You will see the hand of God. You will see great grace at work in your life in Jesus' name. In Genesis uh, chapter 6, we read that previously we saw how God spoke about the wickedness of man that was on the earth and that he was going to destroy a uh, man. And of course, Genesis chapter 9 also, from verse 1 to uh, 24, you can see how the Lord reigned. Uh, destruction upon the earth. Talking about how he instructed Noah to build an ark. Noah did exactly that. And afterward, the flood came and Noah and his family were preserved. I pray the Lord will preserve you, preserve your family in the name of Jesus. Second Chronicles chapter 20 from verse 1 down to 25. Uh, it came to pass that the children of Moab, the children of Amob and Moatia uh, came to battle Jehoshaphat to and Judah and of course, when he told Joshua, his heart failed. And they seek the Lord in fasting and prayer. And down to verse 16, tomorrow, go ye down against them. Behold, they came up by the cliff of Ziz, and ye shall find them at the end of the brook, before the wilderness of Jeroboam. And in verse 17, ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourself, stand still, and ye shall seek the salvation of the Lord from you, O Judea and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow, go out against them. For the Lord will be with you. Down to verse 22. And when they began to sing, and when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushment against the children of Moab, Moab and Moatia, which came to battle to Joshua. And of course, we saw that the battle was torn. Everyone helped to destroy the others, and all were destroyed. In verse 25, when Joshua and his people came to take the spoil, took them about three days to gather the riches that they got from that spoil. I pray. As you act in faith, the Lord will turn your enemies against themselves in Jesus' name. Philippians chapter 2, 5 down to 11. Let this mind be in you, which was in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took him the form of servant, and was made in likeness of men. And being formed in fashion of a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God have also highly exalted him and given him a name that's appropriate to the name, that name of Jesus. Heaven is your bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Very quickly, how do I access showers of grace? We've seen one point uh, yesterday we saw through salvation in, in prayers. We saw through salvation and prayers. We're looking at one more point today through obedience of faith. How to access showers of grace? We're looking at today through obedience of faith. This means that our true adherence and obedience to God's word and commandment will naturally bring us to divine showers of grace in all areas of life. I'll take that again. One more time, looking at how to ask the showers of grace, I will say through obedience of faith. When Father said, this means that our true adherence and obedience to God's word and commandment will naturally bring us bring us to divine showers of grace in all areas of life. And I pray you will see showers of grace in every area of your life in Jesus' name. Genesis chapter 6, you can read... Uh, God said, it came to pass that when uh, people began to multiply on the face of the earth, verse 1 said, it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, verse 2, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives, all which they choose. And verse 3, and the Lord said, my spirit shall not strive with man, for they are all flesh. Down to verse 5, and God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of his thought was evil continually. He repented the Lord that he made man, and it grieved him. And the Lord said in verse 7, I will destroy man which I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast. And of course, Noah, a man filled with grace, said Noah found grace in verse 8 in the sight of the Lord. 
He said the earth was corrupt, but Noah, the Lord instructed him, go and make an ark of gober wood, and of course, pitch it within and without. Given the specification, and Noah did exactly that. And the Lord told him in the next chapter, that he should bring in all the two by two, all the animals, male and female, and all his uh, children, and he did exactly that. And his family was preserved. I pray the Lord will preserve your family in Jesus' name. Exodus chapter 14, uh, from verse 15 down to 31, we saw how Moses and the children of Israel followed the commandment, obeyed the commandment of the Lord, and they walk out of uh, the Red Sea on the dry ground, and the children of um, the Egyptians came, and they were destroyed. Moses stretched forth his rod, and the water consumed all the Egyptians. Deuteronomy chapter 28, from verse 1 to 13, she shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord, to observe and to do his commandment, that all these blessings will come on thee and multiply you. He said, Blessed shall thou be when thou comest, and shall be when thou goest up. Down to verse 13, you can read all of that. First Samuel chapter 15, from verse 1 down to 23, he said, The Lord told Saul to go and destroy the Amalekite. He did that. But he preserved Agar the king and take some uh, some animals. And Samuel said, Today is your kingdom being rent off from you. He said, To obey is better than to sacrifice. Please, at the leisure time, you can read all of those Bible passages. Hebrews chapter 11, from verse 1 down to 11 said, Now faith is something of things, hope for the evidence of things not seen for by the elders obtain a good report. I pray as you act and obey in faith, you will have amazing testimonies to show in Jesus' name. One more time, how to ask the shouts of grace? Say, through obedience of faith. Say, this means that our true adherence and obedience to God's word and commandment will naturally bring us to divine shouts of grace in all areas of life. You can read Genesis chapter uh, 6, Genesis chapter 7, Exodus 14, 15 to 31, Detroit 28, 1 to 13, 1 Samuel 15, 1 to 22, Hebrews 11, 1 to 11. You can read all of that in leisure time. Lastly, let's know that the word of God is loaded with power, grace, and virtue. But no man can tap into this virtue without faith and obedience. In fact, salvation and righteousness are all, are all by obedience. The, obedient, the obedience of faith is a pivot to our stardom and shining on the earth. God's word looks common and ordinary, but in its, but in its application lies the reality and the testimonies of greatness. No man can have true faith and even obey outside of Christ, meaning we have to accept Jesus and walk right before him. And as such, I called you to accept, to confess Jesus to be a Lord and your Savior today. And all the blessings in this Romans 28, 1 to 13 will be your portion. This Romans 30, verse 20 said that thou mayest love the Lord thy God and mayest observe obey his voice and that thou mayest cleave unto him for is thy life and the length of thy days and the length of thy days and thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers to Abraham and to Isaac and to Jacob to give them first Kings 17 from verse 8 to 16 carry that at the leisure time how God instructed Elijah to go and be with a woman of Zarephath to fit him there and he was there the widow of Zarephath fed him for a couple of times and he told her he said uh, the barrel of oil, the cruise of oil, and uh, the meal you have will not waste until rain came. We saw that came to pass. Why? Because he obeyed the Lord. And the widow also obeyed the Lord. And all of them had testimony to show. I pray as you obey God in faith, you have testimony to show in Jesus. In Galatians 3, Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the Lord. I want to pray with you if you're interested. Place your hand in your chest and repeat this prayer after me, Lord Jesus. I come to you this morning, and now I'm a sinner. Forgive me all my sins. I know you died for my sake on the third day. You rose for my freedom right now. I confess to my Lord and my Savior. Have mercy upon me, Jesus. Wash me with your blood and purify me right now in the book of life and grant me grace to please you all the days of my life. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We'll take two prayers. First prayer Father, grant me grace and capacity to obey you in truth the way Noah and Abraham obeyed you in Jesus' name. Genesis chapter 6, verse 22, talking about Noah did all, all that. God instructed him. I pray you will do all that God commanded you. Genesis 13, 1 to 2. And Abraham went out of Egypt, he and his wife and Lord. And Abraham was very rich in cattle and silver and in gold. Father, grant me grace and capacity to obey in truth the way no one Abraham obeyed you in Jesus' name. Thank you for hearing me. Last prayer, Father, divinely teach your children the importance of divine obedience and cause them to see its blessings in Jesus' name. Genesis chapter 26, 3 to 5. So in this land and I will be with you. And of course, I too in the same uh, in that land and reap the same year hundredfold, and Lord blessed him.
And he became the envy of everyone. The father divinely teach your children the importance of divine obedience and cause them to see its blessings in Jesus' name. Thank you for his joining for in Jesus' name we pray. If you join me, pray this prayer, share this gospel, and be blessed from intercessory ministry. See you tomorrow as we continue this teaching series. God bless you in Jesus' name.